Okay, Will, you ready? This is Assistant Secretary of State for Public Affairs, Bryce Lilly. Thank you. Mr. Secretary. Bailey? Will Bailey, yes, sir. You uh, are young. Uh, thank you. Have a seat, please. Thank you. How long have you been in public affairs at state? Under the last three presidents. You worked for both parties. You know the difference? Republicans want a huge military, but they don't want to send it anywhere. The Democrats want a small military, and they want to send it everywhere. Yes, I've heard that. Actually, when I heard the name Bailey, I got a chill in my occipital, a Pavlovian reaction from when I used to have run-ins with a General Tom Bailey at the home store in Brussels. Any relation? A little bit. He's my father. Really? Yes, sir. How long have you been with the NSC? I'm not. How long have you been White House senior staff? Oh, no, I'm not that either. I'm on a three-week contract with the DNC to work on the inauguration speech. Son, I'm an assistant secretary. For public affairs, which makes you just the person I need to speak to. The president is troubled by some of the language states ask... Then this should be taken up between myself and Toby Ziegler. I hope you don't mind. Toby's asked me to speak to you. What are the concerns? America stands alone as the indispensable nation, a force for peace, freedom, and prosperity on all corners of the globe. But that's almost exactly what we wrote. No, that is exactly what you wrote. I'm quoting the State Department text. You memorized it? It was 1,200 words. I'm pretty sure it was 1,123. What's his concern? Well, I suppose to begin with, and this is neither here nor there, but globes don't have corners. If this is about style and not substance... No. It's about substance. We've been over this long before you got here, and I imagine we'll keep on going over it long after your three weeks are done. This White House has to be careful about the use of force. It's a hostile Congress. Well, personally, I'd have no problem using force on Congress, but that's not my call. This president can't write himself a blank check when it comes to foreign policy. Especially this president. Especially this president. That's right. Because of the clause in Article 1 that says not every president gets the full powers of commander-in-chief. Are you rewriting the section? Yes, sir. Dramatically? Well, I like to think I have a certain flair. I meant significantly. That's what the president is looking for, sir. In consultation with state? That's entirely up to Toby. Thank you, sir. Apparently, I'm not done with the Baileys. Apparently not. You effete.